Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most dangerous weather week in Thor News history. On the east coast of the United States or Canada, or you live near one of the 221 rivers that are currently in major flooding, moderate flooding, moderate flooding, or minor flooding stage, or the other 171 that are near flooding around these areas. If you are anywhere around there, <clears throat> I highly recommend and suggest you pay super close attention to the weather situation that is technically now, this is the storm right now happening. And remember, it is traversing, dropping rain, snow, sleet over the exact areas that are flooding in the exact areas that are near flooding. And the models are showing that the situation is not only for the central part of the United States, but is also returning to California. As the entire West Coast will be getting hit with storms. So both coasts are going to be getting hit at a time where we have almost 400 rivers either flooding or near flooding. And we have a chain of storms coming in. Anywhere from 5 to 7 in the next 15 days. So this is definitely the most fascinating real life situation we got going on right now. All right, so let's take a look at it. So you got, this is here. Remember, it's basically flooded from there all the way to there. And so watch as BC, Vancouver, Washington, Oregon, down into South, Southern California, will be getting a lot of rain. Remember, the yellow or red or orange means heavy, heavy rain. Atmospheric river to the left, atmospheric river to the right. And what's going to happen here is kind of like a, a reverse landfalling hurricane. Bombogenesis, monster freak storm. I mean, look at this single frame. Everything about this thing looks weird. Look at the isobars, the weird binary compartments. And then over here, get slammed as well. And it keeps it straight bar. And remember what the storm is. It's going to be going counterclockwise. So. All that moisture. All those giant moisture blobs. Are going to be being pulled around. All up and down the coast. So. I am very worried about. Coastal flooding. In New York. New Jersey. Connecticut. Rhode Island. Massachusetts. I think Massachusetts, it's going to get hit hard. When I say hit hard, I mean, from this storm, we're looking at, Massachusetts is looking at anywhere from 15 to 7 foot waves for four straight days. Let's see if this will let me play some of my computora. It's too slow. But... So watch, that is right by Boston and Massachusetts. We'll watch our low pressure zone pop out. So we're talking 12 foot waves, 18 foot waves. And that started on Friday. 20 foot waves. 20 foot waves. We're now to Saturday as this thing grows. But watch how it touches the tip of Florida all the way up to Nova Scotia. And here are like 35 to 40 foot waves. So at this moment, it's Sunday. Massachusetts and the majority of the coast are still getting very high waves. 
astronomical high when the moon is full. So it is still basically affecting 14-foot waves, and we are into Tuesday. So you are getting 14-foot waves pretty much up and down the entire coast, 17-foot waves for four or five days. That's probably the piece of information I started out with. So knowing that it's going to be expanding and then just kind of doing this counterclockwise thing. That is what has me concerned and has me not sleeping very well. Right. So, watch well, like on Friday. Watch how this storm grows. Remember, counterclockwise spin. So it's like a hurricane, but instead of coming and hitting, it just kind of sits there and grows, and then grows and grows. And notice how these wind fields are hitting 59 miles an hour, 62 miles an hour. The wind goes down into Florida, 40 to 50 miles an hour. So that's Saturday. And it continues to grow. And we're now into Sunday. And we're still looking at 45 mile per hour wind gusts, 50 mile per hour wind gusts up the coast on Sunday. And the, it's weird, this, instead of being a perfect circle, it has it more like a horseshoe shape, which I think is going to add a strange broad dynamic to the actual waves making more choppy see more wave height anomalies but notice it doesn't really even really begin to pull away from the coast until monday at 3 p.m and it's still basically bringing wind gusts of 40 miles an hour to north carolina virginia and Connecticut and then here's our next giant storm almost on the wave of this one and what I was worried about is if these two hook up let me show you what I'm talking about because what has happened in the last few weeks is the polar vortex split in half which has caused sudden stratospheric warming and well what I know that means is just prepare for weird weather and so, the pressure, means sea level pressure, is kind of just gone a bit crazy, wild. And so, anywhere you see blue, usually, you're going to see rain, snow, nasty weather. And so, see right here, this is on the third. So, it's basically nasty, severe weather all up and down the coast in this giant bridge that punches all the way through Europe United Kingdom and so that is I don't think that's happened before as someone who's been showing you these mean sea level pressure maps for a while I've definitely never seen anything like this and so it's almost you know <clears throat> so it was like we had two eclipses what, that just the second one just ended what it was a week or two ago and the last time we had two eclipses back to back we had Harvey five days later and then we had a chain of hurricanes so we had two eclipses and now yeah we just be prepared for so many reasons so this is low pressure and that's high pressure they're not supposed to be that separated usually. So you guys have every reason to take this whole situation seriously. I will keep keeping you guys posted. Though from looking at Twitter, it kind of feels like everybody's asleep at the wheel. Because this thing is bad. Like, uh, I, I think we'll get 
uh, bigger coastal flooding estimates as the storm gets closer. But if you are along the coast or near any of those rivers that are going to be getting pounded, and it, remember, these are, we're going to get wave after wave after wave storm. If you are anywhere near there, please have a plan, be prepared, and if we, you know, be ready ahead of time to jump the curve, like I'm going to be ready for hurricane season. And if I hear there's a hurricane coming, I'm out the door so I don't get stuck in traffic. And as of right now, at 9 in the morning on Wednesday, you know, you have till probably Friday or Saturday. But be ready to get ahead of the curve if the models start to skew towards, oh my God, this storm is going to be really, really bad. I'm guessing right now it's going to be worse than Sandy. You can come back. Hopefully I'm wrong. But that's what I'm saying. Like, just to have that giant thing, which is the size of the whole coast, churning counterclockwise straight, pouring all that moisture back into the coast, causing these giant waves for four straight days. That's it. That's it. It's a, it's a heck of a deal, man. It's a, it's a, it's a bad scene, man. And then plus, you're going to have the freezing air fighting with the storm right behind it so it's, a lot of those areas are going to freeze again after flooding so we've got a mess in our hands and now that the west coast is going to be getting hit with rounds again you know i want to remind you we took like 1.5 is or 1.1 trillion dollars worth of damage last year we hit with like three hurricanes and everybody's just going about business like it was normal so, but, you know, everybody's got the right to do whatever they want to do. I just want to say, I love you. I thank you. Um, maybe I'll take a nap before I get the next one out. But I cannot warn you guys enough. Take this whole situation seriously. Like, we're going to see a lot more rivers flooding and all that water at its weight. We might start to see minor or medium earthquakes. You know, it's, it's a situation. And so I highly recommend... We all work together. Definitely. Be cool. Stay cool. God bless everyone. Talk to you all soon.